How to Stick to Your Goals. Good morning, Motivation. Hello, everyone. It's Johnny Campbell here, The Transition Man. And this in this audio episode, we're going to talk about how to stick to your goals, which is part of the three-part series. And this is part number two on Stick to It. And what I want to do here is continue that conversation on how to be successful by sticking to your goals until you finally accomplish them. Now, in that first audio episode, I talked about place, people, and purpose being the first three things that you should be thinking about when you're trying to stick to your goals. Now, what I want to do is talk about the fourth and the fifth actual P's to sticking to your goals. And the first one, of course, is P for plan. Now, when it comes to sticking to your goals, you must have a plan. You may have, you may know the place, you got the people, you got your purpose, but now you have to have a clear plan. And to really have this plan, it starts with having a clear vision. You must have a clear vision of not just the goal at hand, but why you're actually going to stick to this actual goal. A lot of times people have a goal that they want to achieve, which could be good for themselves, could be good for others. But the biggest question is, why are you actually doing it? To what end game? In other words, what's the bottom line result, the outcome, the, the solution, the thing that you want to have, be, or do because you've actually stuck to it? That's the big thing here. So when you're thinking about sticking to your goal, ask yourself, what's my end game? What is the bottom line result that's going to happen by me sticking to it? Whether that is when it comes to losing weight, or improving your credit score, and finding a new career, whatever it is that you say, I'm going to stick to it until I find a new career, until I lose the weight, until I have this thing I want in my life, or until I become this thing I want in my life. But why do you want to become it so bad? That right there is the real key. You must understand your why. Because when you understand your why, and it's a true why that drives you, you will have what is called emotional integrity. And what is emotional integrity? It's truly the fire within you that burns, that pushes you. In other words, no one needs to call you and wake you up in the morning. You know you have to get up and go to work. No one has to tell you what to do because you want to do it because you have this burning why, this emotional integrity behind the why that is driving you. And then for some people, that emotional why can come down to they have something they want to prove to themselves, they want to prove to others, or more importantly, they're driven because they want to protect what they already have. So to stick to your goals, there must be this why behind this vision, but you must be clear on exactly what the vision is. So that's kind of your first thing there with that P is with plan. The next one, the P is process. Now, this is the nuts and bolts of your success. When you start thinking about process, you must put processes in place that equip you to stick to your goals. A lot of times we don't have processes in place, things that we naturally do every single day to accomplish it. So your first step to sticking to your goals is to say, what do I have to do in the morning to stick to my goals? What do I have to do midday to stick to my goals? What do I have to do at night before I go to bed to stick to my goals? You have to have a true process in place because it's so easy for us to drift away from the things that we want to accomplish because life is ever present and life is a distraction because there's life goes on. So you got to have processes in place that allow you to stay on path and stay on the course. And even with these processes, you need to have a process in place so that you won't quit. In other words, when you feel like quitting, there needs to be a process in place that helps you hang on and keep going. Maybe it's a support person, someone that you know, like, and trust who you can talk to when you feel like I'm about to fall off the wagon. I'm about to slip up and mess up. Whatever it is, sometimes we have to have that person, that mentor, that coach, or just a friend who will remind you of where you're going and what you're trying to accomplish so that you hang in there. Another piece to the puzzle of having this process in place is that the activities have to center around sticking to it. So in other words, I talked about it before, but it's so important. You must have a process in place so that you can be around the people who can help you continue down your path to sticking to your goals. So you have to have a plan in place and say, these are the people I'm going to meet with every single week because they're accomplishing what I want to accomplish. 
they're doing what I want to do, or they're experiencing what I want to experience. So you have to have a plan in place, which is a schedule that says, I'm going to be around these people. Also in that same process, place. If you're going to stick to it, you need to make sure that your environment supports what you're trying to stick to. So if you are trying to truly stick to becoming more financially independent, then what are the books that are you reading? Are you watching YouTube videos? What are you doing in order to put yourself in the right place? And that's just not physical, that's mental as well. Mentally in the right place, but also being in the right place, going to places that support what you're trying to stick to. Along with the people, there are places that you can go that support what you're trying to accomplish, whether they are online or they are offline, but you have to make it part of your process that I will go to these places so that it helps me stick. I will be around these people because it helps me stick. I will do these daily activities that helps me stick. And when I feel like I'm slipping, I will do these things to help me hang on. Those are the things you got to get in place so that you'll stick to your goal. And then finally, how are you going to measure your progress? Now you're sticking to your goals, but how are you going to measure it? It's so important to have a way, a process to measure your process. Just like if you're going to work out and exercise and your goal is to lose weight, well, you're doing all these other things. And of course you can say, well, I can fit my clothes and I feel better, but the scale is the measure. How you feel, of course, is a measure, but the scale never lies. So you gotta have a way to measure your progress because when you measure your progress, that lets you know that the sticking of your to your goals is what's helping you get to where you wanna be. So you gotta have a way to measure, whether it could be financial, it could be physically weighing yourself, or there could be some other way that you are measuring that you are progressing forward and you because you are sticking to your goals. So what I wanted to do here in the time that we had was just give you two more P's of that pro overall process on how to stick to your goals. And that is for a plan. You must have a clear vision that is written down exactly as it's supposed to be. Just like a picture in the wall. You've got to write down what your plan is. And your plan is your vision of what's supposed to happen. What are you going to do? What are you going to be? What are you going to become at the end of all of this? You've got to have a clear plan with a clear vision. Process. You must have these processes in place to keep you going. Quick review, once again, the process of what do I do when I get up in the morning, midday, afternoon? What's my process to keep me sticking to my goals? Are there little things I need to do in order to stick to my goal? What else am I supposed to be doing? In other words, people. What's my process of being around the right people in the day or in a week or in a month? I have to have a process in place to be around the people that help me stick to my goals. And, if, and of course, place. What's my process? In other words, where will I go visit, see, and interact? Well, in other words, I've got to go to places that help me stick to my goals. And then finally, how will I measure? How will you measure your success? Because you're going to stick to it, so how are you going to measure it? So you've got to do these things. By doing these things, it puts you in a better position to stick to your goals so you can achieve your goals. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Johnny Campbell. I'm called a transition man. I want to thank you so much for listening to part two, to stick to it. Of course, I have my Facebook group called Rise Up and Win Mastermind Group that I would love for you to join. Also, I'm definitely doing lots of other new and interesting things. If you are watching this or listening to this audio in LinkedIn, please click on the link that's around it. Subscribe to my channel. If you're looking at it through Facebook, there's a link that you can click on to subscribe to my channel, of course, my video channel. And then finally, if you're watching it on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel, click on that little button and subscribe because my goal is to get this message out to as many people as possible. And it is only through the people that are listening now that that can become possible. There is so much negative news, so many things that are destructive in this world right now. And as you can see, I'm trying to share something that can make a difference in people's lives. And I just need your help to do it. Without your help, I'm not going to be able to get the word out. So I really need your help. Subscribe to the channel, share with other people so that we can make a difference, a positive difference in people's lives and they can achieve the results they want. Because I believe when people are achieving the results that they want and they're getting the success and the happiness that they want, 
we all in this world will get what we want, which is more success, more money, and more happiness as well. Well, thank you so much, guys, for listening to this. My name is Johnny Campbell. I'm called a Transition Man. I wish you all the best in your success, and I will speak to you in the next audio.